How's it going, Rednecks? We got kind of a unique scenario going on here. Uh, Tyler, aka the Peon Dream here, bought a uh, truck hoist or a uh, car hoist. Um, it is a name brand uh, right here, Atlas, and it was $1,797. Um, there was a $300 shipping cost. Now with that, you have to have a way to unload it. There has to be a four truck or a factory or something somewhere where you have access to get this thing unloaded or they won't actually ship it to you. And then um, top of that, there was a sales tax 6%. Came to a total of $2,220 for this whole thing. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to do a time lapse of this install and kind of let you guys see what's all involved, kind of maybe stop and show some of the stuff we did and why we did it, and uh, kind of tips and tricks that we learned along the way, because I honestly don't know what I'm doing. We're going to follow the instructions as closely as possible and uh, get this thing installed. So sit back, enjoy the time lapse, and uh, yeah, here we go. Next, we got the uh, two poles up, and as you can see, they are through the rafters, and that's something we already knew that was going to happen. Our ceilings are not adequate for this hoist, but we're going to work with what we got. Um, I'll show you right here, we are almost hitting the roof line right there. So there are different stages. You can see there's uh, right there three bolt holes. We got it on the lower one right now, so we can clear. So we're going to be working under this thing a little low. We already knew that was going to be an issue, but the uh, next objective is the uh, crossbars. We're gonna assemble these on the floor and then we're gonna put them up. That goes across from one side to the other to uh, run the cabling through and all that and that supports it side to side. So let's get those together. We'll get another time lapse of that being put up and then I'll uh, get you guys caught back up with what's going on. Next, unfortunately, I started that next time lapse, and you guys couldn't really see what was going on up here. We ended up having to clear a uh, two by four run from when they uh, constructed this building, I guess, uh, has to hold all the rafters up. And we are just clearing it. If you take a look, we are resting on it right now. So that bar is actually resting. We have to uh, still bolt it right there. And that's what we did on this side. Oop, tripping on stuff. So right, we're right there, we got two of them started. And that is that top support, so we're gonna get you guys set up a little bit better this time and I'll uh, time lapse us putting them in. Then I think the next step is gonna be maybe trying to run our cabling, I'm not quite sure yet, but let's get that done first and uh, we'll see where we go from there. we got a quick update and kind of a bad one on uh, our side what's going on is since we lowered this uh, four inches on uh, each side it comes to a combined difference between the two sides added together of eight inches so somehow we have to get eight inches out of this cable and the way we got to do that is if you look right down in here let me flip my lens around you see that eyelet down in there that into the cable right there needs to be fed through the one into the other one and then tightened. Well, the unfortunate thing is, is we just ran all of our hydraulic hosing to these cylinders. So for you guys, you'd be wise to pull them cylinders out, put everything in, and then put your cylinders in in hydraulics. Unfortunately, we don't have that option because we're not going to pull all this loose. We really uh, tighten that hardware pretty good, so I'm not going to back all that out. Instead, what we're going to do is we are going to put a jack under the arm, lift this whole thing up, and try and get a socket underneath of it so we can tighten the nuts and bolts. So 
we got a little bit of uh, screwing around to do. Hopefully uh, you guys will learn from our mistakes. So yeah, let's see what we can figure out. Well, I'm back here with a little bit of an update. We uh, got the cabling um, on the top up here. And down here, there is a pulley. One of them has to come down, loop around this pulley, and then it comes back up, and it's right here. So, not much of an update, but kind of give you a look at what's going on. One has to go just straight in right here. And that's going to be the hard one we got to deal with because we can't pull this cylinder out. But the other one has to loop down through that wheel. Not too bad. Not that big of a deal. So we're going to get all this stuff up. I might do a time lapse, might not. Don't know how I feel right now. We're just trying to get tooling together. So... Just Next, we got the uh, hoist all leveled and in place. And as you can see, we uh, drilled our holes and got our anchors in. Now those are uh, three quarter inch anchor bolts. And uh, the concrete ended up being five inches thick. They uh, suggest six, but there's a minimum requirement of four inches. So we fall within them uh, lines. So now what we gotta do is we need to figure out shims. This thing came with plastic shims. I advise not using that. So we're gonna go ahead and try and get some steel cut up, figure out what we're gonna do for shims and uh, I'll get back to you. Well, there we go, guys. All we're gonna do is we've been just taking this uh, scrap steel that we have left over from some projects cutting them to size and then fitting them underneath the uh, hoist. So we're gonna do that all the way around, get this thing all leveled. Well, it is leveled, I guess get this thing all anchored down, pulled down, and uh, then we gotta do wiring, put the arms on, and uh, yeehaw. So we've been about four hours into this, about four, four and a half, so not too bad, pretty easy work, and uh, fun hanging out, so. All right, next, this is uh, gonna be where we leave it for right now. We have the whole thing together. Arms are all on, cables are ran, hydraulics are all ran. Um, we need to top it off with fluid. We need to get the power hooked up to it, and we need to set our cables. There's uh, two cables that we installed. Those need to get set, so they're uh, equal. The arms are lifting at the same rate. So I guess for right now, this is gonna be it for the video, and I will uh, catch you guys later. All right, Rednecks, it's another day, and we happen to have this thing done. It is mounted, it is wired, all the uh, fluids are in it, and uh, I'm going to go over a few things, uh, some stuff we learned that you're going to want to know about. First thing is you need three quarts of this, or uh, three gallons of this. This is the uh, hydraulic oil. It's uh, 15 bucks a gallon at Lowe's, so we got pretty lucky. It was pretty easy to come by, and uh, 
I guess the next thing we'll go over is uh, wiring. All right, as for wiring, you can see he's kind of got it just willy-nilly thrown in right now. He is going to install a box right here so he can unplug this and plug in a welder. But that is um, a single phase 220, so you need a two-pole circuit breaker to wire that in with a uh, two, I guess, power and then a ground. So. This is all wired in, ready to go. And I guess the only other thing I want to cover are the uh, cables inside here. We had a lot of trouble running them cables, kind of setting them, and I'm going to go over with uh, what we ended up doing. All right, looking at these uh, cables here, you have two of them. You got one for the left side, one for the right. Um, we ended up having to run down on this one because we uh, ran the hoist arms or the uh, hoist head right up there. There's uh, two bolt patterns. You can run this higher or lower. We need to run it lower to clear the roof. So what we needed to do was send this cable through both these eyelets and we came out the bottom here and tightened that uh, as you can see and then coming back on the other side this is the uh, one we made the adjustment on. So you want to run these ones all the way on, jam nut them and then make your adjustment with the uh, ones you can get at. And to do that all we had to do was bring these up, we set them down on the latches tensioned our cables together and uh, it's good to go so man I tell you what he had uh, $200 into wiring he had uh, $2,200 into uh, the uh, hoist itself and he had about $50 into hydraulic fluid so for under $2,500 this is going to be a nice thing to have around so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video like comment share subscribe and get back to work That works. Nice. Are you happy? You're ecstatic.